Okay, this is um, chapter 4, section 4, problem 63. The paper shows a list of weights and prices of some turkeys at different supermarkets, complete parts A through F. So make a scatter plot here, part A, with the weight on the x-axis and the cost on the y-axis. So you can do that here. We'll put this up in stack crunch. So what we can do is go through the regression line to get a scatter plot here and you can see a trend of it so I'm going to go ahead and go into the regression line stat and regression and I see simple linear okay and in this case my weight is the in, my input my x and my output is the price And down here, I want to see uh, a fitted line plot. Okay. And then I hit compute. And it gives me my data. And if I go to the click on this bottom arrow here, it gives me a trend line with the scatter plot. So all I did was go back as two two pages here, one of two, to see the second page. Click on the bottom and you see it. There's your scatter plot there. Okay. So they, now they want to see the correlation between the weight and the price. You can go back. R, R value here. Looks like it's a pos strong positive correlation. You can see that from the data. It's a strong positive correlation. If we look at our R here, we have a strong positive correlation. So they give us the formula to find the correlation R. And on our data here, we found using technology. In this case, R is uh, 0.925 rounded. Okay. Explain what it means. Now, if it's, since it's positive, the trend is positive. The trend is positive. If the, if the uh, R value is negative, the trend is negative. So in this case here, we see that the trend is positive, and we have a positive uh, uh, correlation here. So it's increasing with pin. So as the weight increases, the price, the weight of the turkey increases, the price of the turkey is going to increase. So the regression line is shown below here, where, a, where B is the slope and A is the intercept. So they want us to find part C, report the equation as the best line. So we can go click back and see the requ our equation here, for price and weight, there's the equation. And it's showing how to do this by hand. So what they have done here is... Uh, Found the what do you call it? The, the B is the slope here. You have correlation coefficient divided by the standard deviation for um, the price divided by the standard deviation deviation of the weight. We can use technology to get that done. Okay. In this case, the B, which is the slope, is 1.486, and we can see that right there. There is a slope. 1.4. So we're shaping it up there. We know what our B is. And we know what uh, our Y is here. So we can go ahead and use our tables to find using technology.
So there's our model there, as it's given to us already here in technology. So then this one here, they want to see the skirt, a sort of line on the scatter plot, what's it look like, and that's what it looks like. Okay. What does a sloping and intercept a regression line mean? what they show so and we'll call it the slope shows how to compare the the average y values um, apart on the x variable here so the intercept shows the predicted mean when the x value is zero okay so before talking about the intercept here make sure uh, determine whether it makes sense to talk about um, when you have a zero input here so when you have a zero weight turkey, how much will a zero weight turkey cost? Will that make sense? So when we look at our data here, see the equation. So if the, if the turkey weighs zero, you have a negative cost. Mm -hmm. In which in, in one one point of view that you can't have negative money so it, negative money you can have negative money here so one point of view is that uh, it should be zero uh, zero weighted turkey should cost zero but in this case it costs a negative three dollars okay so it doesn't make too much sense to talk about a zero weighted turkey now add a, uh, a new point to your data, uh, a 30 pound turkey that is free. So I'm going to put a new, uh, a 30 pound turkey. That is free. What does that do to the? the situation so it's a regression so it's linear the way it determines the price change the trend now we have a decreasing trend so it appears that the higher the weight of the turkey the less it's going to cost and notice here for our data we have a negative correlation here so it's a decreasing trend. And you can see the equation here for it. Regression line, the linear equation here for it. So that's our new predicted equation here regression line and there's the equation associated with it so in this case we have a negative a negative correlation there so the higher so as the weight of the turkey increases the cost is going to go down That's the end of that problem there.